In this video, I'll be sharing how some of these animations can be achieved by using prompt schedule technique with animate diff in Comfy UI. To begin, I'll clear this workflow. Okay. We will be using the workflow provided by Inner Reflections on this page. Scrolling down the page, we need to have these extensions installed into our Comfy UI directory. We can find these extensions by going into Comfy UI under our, our custom nodes, which I already have installed. But to do this, you have to select the directory path. Then you type CMD and you click enter. So select all of this. Control C, you come back to the terminal and you just paste this here. Once you hit enter, this is going to duplicate uh, the extensions required under your custom nodes, which I already have here. And also I have my Comfy UI manager, as you guys can see. We don't need this link because we are not using control net yet. Once all of the installations is done for the extensions, I'll just run my NVIDIA GPU. We need a workflow which we are going to use by Inner Reflections. You can find this on the attachments. We are going to use the text to fit with prompt schedule. I already have this downloaded. All you need to do is that we come back to Comfy UI, click on load to load up the workflow by Inner Reflections. Once I have this opened up, uh, we are missing a few nodes. We have to use the uh, Comfy UI manager. We come to the manager, we go to the install missing custom nodes, check on this box, click install. Once this is done, I'll just uh, close this, update Comfy UI, close this, and I'll also close this. Restart Comfy UI once again. Always make sure to close your terminal, reopen Comfy UI from here. We are going to be using this checkpoint. RPG Artist Tools. So click on the download here, choose the save tensor file. We save this under checkpoints and uh, yeah, this is supposed to be here. Back to Comfy UI, we'll make sure we have the animate diff models installed. If you don't have this, we'll go onto the Hagen Face page. We need to download this MM models for animate diff. Place them into your directory of Comfy UI custom nodes where you have your models and back into Comfy UI. Down here, we have the number of frames, which means the duration of our animation. I'm going to change this to 75, click OK. From here, the next node is the width and the height. So I'll be using the default of 152 by 768. And now for our checkpoints, I'm going to select the RPG Artist Tools. Our VAE, we are just going to leave it at default. So our next node will be the Animate Diff nodes. And here under Animate Diff Loader, I'm going to select the checkpoint for V15, V2. From here, we move to the prompt, which is the main thing uh, we need to focus on. And this is where we put our frames over time to change our animations. At frame zero, Stable Diffusion will generate whatever prompt we put here and the same for frame 25 and the rest of the frames. I would like this prompt schedule to transition between the characters of a tiger, a rabbit, a panda and also a cat in martial arts kung fu characters. Make sure there is a comma after every prompt except for the last frame. If you want to check out how I generated this prompt, click on the link above to guide you. We will leave everything else at default and next is the K sampler and when we come here, I'm going to put in the settings of 34 steps. So I'll keep this at 7.5. Sampler name, I'll go for the DPM uh, 2M site E, change the scheduler to Karas, delete this because we don't need this node, we only need a video. I'll keep this at 8 frames. You can name this to anything you want. Um, I'll just click on Q prompt here to see what we get from the default inputs of all our settings. I am impressed with the results so far uh, from the prompts we have. I just want to also include a LoRa. Let's double click here to search uh, LoRa. I'll click on the LoRa loader. I'm just going to change this to the XL more artful LoRa. Take the models into the model LoRa here. Continue from here into the animated diff loader where it belongs. Take the clip here back to the LoRa in. Take it out in this way. I'll keep everything else at default with the string. We can start to put out our high res fix for animated diff. So if we come back to this page, 
by looking at the saved image, this can guide us to create this into our workflow with AnimateDiv. Double click to load the app scale. We need another case sampler. Uh, this latent will go into the new AED code, connect this latent. So this will be all the way from here to the model. And uh, we need to connect this samples, which is going to be our latent here. Um, our positive will come all the way into the positive here. And our negative comes all the way here into the negative node. Duplicate this, we hold Alt and drag here. This is our low res case sampler, and this is our high res case sampler. So we just need a VAED code to connect this to the low res case sampler, and we put this to the video combine. So this is giving us a low resolution, and this will be our final output. We are going to change this from 1024, 768 by 2, it would give us 1536. From here, we'll just click on Q prompts to see our two outputs of the low res and also of the high res. I'm missing another connection here. I forgot to connect the VAE, which goes all the way here to the VAE again. And I'm going to Q prompt again. We'll just be patient and we'll just see the results we get from the final outcome. Alright, so we have our first generation here, which is low res. The K sampler is also working to give us the high res version. So far, this is not looking too bad. I'll still give it some time to see the high res fix. Right, so this is looking great from the transitions into each prompt. Animate Diff is really doing a great job with the prompt scheduling technique and our prompt inputs. If you guys enjoyed this video, destroy the like button. Keep exploring with other Animate Diff models and checkpoints for different results. If you want to put your ideas into generations, watch how this prompt trick can guide you and save you time.